are the Mythbusters. Adam Savage. I'm done with science for today. And Jamie Heineman. Way to go there, buddy. Between them, more than 30 years of special effects experience. Now, in 1776, the British were a huge world power army-wise. Now, every, they used to walk in these lines. Now, that was true until the infantry were staring down 18 cannonball cannon barrels. So, uh, what George Washington would do, this is the myth right here, is instead of lining his cannons right up at the infantry, because I don't know if you know this, but the infantry wouldn't stay in formation at that point, they'd scatter. So instead of lining them up so the infantry could see the cannons, he'd put them behind a wall and have each cannonball specially molded with a hole in it to fit the rope. And each cannonball would go on a rope that was tied to a pole. Then using curvilinear motion, he would just shoot them all and just clean sweep the British. And that's how he won America. So the myth is viable. We're going to test it here with, uh, with some of our equipment. Adam's going to build a cannon. I'm going to build a cannon. My cannon's gonna be better, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just, I, I think what's what's happened is it's gotten too much hairspray, and the ratio is off. I. I'm not sure why it's not lighting. I, maybe the fire's not getting down in there. Um, I guess we're gonna have to go with with as much as I'd hate to say it. Uh, Adam's cannon's been firing, so I, I guess we're we'll give it a try. And when it doesn't work, when he fails, we'll we'll come back to my cannon. I'll have it fixed by then. Where the hell did it go? Uh, Everyone back away. There we go. Did you, did you hit the start? I'm I'm a little upset. Adam's Adam's cannon is working as well as it is. I didn't think the grill starter would work as well as it is. I kind of wish we were using mine. It's much bigger, more accurate to what George Washington would have used. We'll, we'll let him have this one. For this experiment, what we're doing today is we're going to be firing this cannon, and inside there's a balloon tied to the string and filled with sand. It's going to act as our cannonball. The cannon will fire the balloon. It will, because of the uh, rope, it'll act in curvilinear motion after a set distance. It'll curve around, and I'll hit our little target over there, our stand in for the uh, British shoulders, little rosy. And uh, hopefully we'll get a headshot. Right. One, in three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> As you can see, the uh, the force that hit this deer was pretty substantial. I mean, enough to cave in its chest. I feel like if we had done this uh, full sized with a uh, cannonball. It would have just destroyed a couple of the uh, British soldiers, if not a couple dozen. Oh, what the hell are you doing over here? Well, you're scaring the out of my grandchildren. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. What's your name? Mike. Mike what? With a yeah. fake mustache. We're doing a resources experiment right now. Well, for, it's for school. It's for like our for one of our projects. Engineers. Which college? ODU. We're all engineers, and we're doing it for a dynamics class. You know, we have, this, this is enough's enough. Now you've been out here for over two hours doing this. You know, I don't call the cops. Not enough. Okay. You were out here two weeks ago and you hit one hit my fence. Remember? Yeah, you did. Somebody was out here when he's doing these same things. Okay. Well, we're done. That was that was our Sorry about that. We're done.